And finally, amidst the dispute over the import of hunting trophies and poaching, the president of Botswana has issued an unusual warning. He's threatening to send 20,000 elephants to Germany to see how they cope with what he says is his country's overpopulation of the animals. France 24's Monty Francis has this report. Botswana is overflowing with elephants. Thanks to conservation efforts, the country is home to some 130,000 of them, making up a third of the world's elephant population. A success story to be sure, but many in Botswana have come to regard the massive creatures as a huge menace to property, crops and even human life. So when Germany's environment minister suggested imposing stricter limits on hunting trophies, Botswana's president had some choice words. Speaking to a German newspaper, Maguizi Masisi threatened to export 20,000 elephants to Germany, saying, quote, if you like them so much, then please accept this gift from us, and adding, this is no joke. I wish to... Masisi says his country is paying the price for the world's conservation efforts and that bans on hunting trophies hamper wildlife conservation, make anti-poaching efforts harder, and impoverish residents who depend on tourism. Adult elephants have no real natural predators in Botswana, and in an effort to control the population, the country has exported 8,000 of them to neighboring Angola. Also, as of 2019, for a hefty price, foreigners can buy a permit to hunt an elephant and take its head or skin home as a trophy, a practice denounced by animal rights groups. Germany is the largest importer of elephant trophies in the EU, a practice banned by others in the bloc, including France and Belgium. Last month, Botswana's wildlife minister made a similar threat to send 10,000 elephants to London's Hyde Park, as the UK argues over its own restrictions on hunting trophies. As the West debates a practice considered cruel by many, Botswana is eager for outsiders to be like it, unable to ignore the elephant in the room.